lamb of our salvation? Those people are working so hard to make sure we have what we need. In fact, you know what? Let's just stop and pray for them right now. Let's do it. Ready? Fold your hands, bow your heads, and you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Yep. Sure. Okay. I heard we didn't have sound. Are we, not, are we good now? Yes. Awesome. So boys and girls, I'm going to start again. What I said was, I really, really miss seeing you in, purpose, on, in person. <laughs> it's very hard, that part of it. But I'm also super glad that we're here together. And uh, I, I am just picturing you in your houses with your families. And that's a great way to worship too. So I'm, I'm glad we're here. So, I want to talk to you today about things that the coronavirus can do. And I'm sure you'll be able to think of lots of things. For example, the coronavirus can close our schools. The coronavirus can close some of our stores. The coronavirus can mean that moms and dads are now working at home. You know what it also can mean? There are some people in our community who are actually working harder than they probably ever have before. People in our hospitals, like doctors and nurses and people who clean the hospitals and people who get hospital surgery rooms ready for surgery. Uh, all those people are working super hard and people in grocery stores are working super hard and our first responders. And I, there's more that I can't name, but I think it'd be good if we stopped to pray for those people right now. Let's do it, ready? Close your, bow your head. Fold your hands and let's pray. You can pray right after me, okay? Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for the people. Thank you for the people. Who are working so hard. Who are working so hard. To give us what we need. To give us what we need. Bless them. Bless them. Protect them. Protect them. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, guess what? There's some things the coronavirus can't do, too. And this is more important than what it can do. The number one thing that the coronavirus can't do is stop God's love. Vicar Jason just read a verse from Romans 8, and basically what it says is there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that can stop God's love. That's how powerful it is, way stronger than the coronavirus. And that means God's love to you can't be stopped, and neither can God's love coming from you be stopped. So in these days, I want you to really hold on to God's love for you, and I want you to find lots and lots of new ways of sharing God's love with other people. I know you can do it because God's going to help you. He loves you. I'm going to say a prayer and then we're going to move on. Dear Jesus, I thank you for the love that you just pour over us all the time and how strong that love is, stronger than anything. Help us hold on to your love and share your love with others. We pray in your name. Amen.